ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ a very warm welcome to our entire sangat in today's talk our topic for this evening is three obstacles of life if we see in this world in the creation of lord in the creation of bahi guru there is a special there is a special place for this word three a lot of things or we can say important things are in the count of three if we relate it with the life first part as guru nanak sahib ji says eka mai jugat vyai tin chele parva guru nanak sahib ji also mentioned tin chele parva the one who is giving birth one who is taking care of life third who is destroying everything so in the three parts or we can say three different powers which was managed by the main power which is one but still there are three different roles even in our life if we divide guru tegh bahadur sahib ji says baal juwani ar bird phone teen avastha cha child adult and an old person three stages of our life and even if we need to discuss about our life which is a part of time that is again divided into three parts past present future i have done something i am doing something i will do something so as we got this life this opportunity to merge with one to meet vahiguru so god in one term vahiguru has created three obstacles for us as well from which we need to go through or we can say this responsibility has given to maya so these three obstacles of life are rajogun tamogun sato guru ji says tihi guni tihi means three tihi guni sansar bram sutta sutya rain bihane so entire world has fall into the trap of these three modes everyone have all these three qualities or all these three obstacles but one is on the prime other two are helping in the helping mode we all have rajo tamo and sato but one person has one thing on the prime or one may have two things on the prime but we fall in this category so what are these three goals first we will like to start from tamo go tamo the basic translation of tamo is hanera tam means hanera tam means darkness if we see on the earth there is more darkness than the light from the nature's point of view more darkness than the light and the same has happened in our life too in our life there is more darkness less light as sun gives light to earth so 50% almost 50% earth is getting light and 50% is in the darkness and on the other hand on whichever part light is there 
after a certain time or after a certain gap there is again more darkness in the ocean in the water so first few hundred meters there is a light then again there is darkness so all the on which part there is a light still it's under darkness so more darkness more ignorance is there so the how to identify who is more into tamogun then there are two symptoms in the tamogun we like to sleep more tamo means more laziness just like to postpone our works postpone our thing till the point we can at least we just want maximum time in our comfort zone that is tamo don't want to do something always try to postpone as much as we can one point of view of tamo don't want to do something always lazy more and more laziness is coming although we all have all those things on certain points so but the one who have tamogun on the prime in the any person so for him laziness sleep postponing their things is more important than ignorance the basic meaning of tamo is darkness darkness means ignorance he don't understand what is right what is wrong in the darkness as in the dark room we cannot identify things we cannot see anything so the one who have tamo gun on prime is not able to understand what is right what is wrong what i should do what i am not supposed to do even if you tell him all good things still it will not help him he may say just stop it i don't want to work as we see in the history as well prithi chand was the elder brother of pit guru shri guru arjan sahib ji guru ram das ji was teaching him a lot guru arjan sahib ji was his brother still because of ignorance he could not able to catch it even guru ram das sahib ji said kahe poot chakra thau sang ba why are you fighting with me all the time without any reasons why you are wasting your energy your time in it so it is more we can say the count of tamogun is the maximum in the world darkness is more than the light so people those who don't understand why or what is the reason behind this precious party this priceless life pai prapat manuk te huriya gobind milan ki e teri bariya very difficult to let them understand they all fall into the first category of tamogun ignorance they don't know but the third part of tamogun is they are more into the anger crowd and whenever we read about anger in guru granth sahib ji more of the times we will find calm and krodh together calm krodh nagar bah pareya calm krodh kaya to gal more often will read calm and krodh together so the one who have tamogun on the prime he will be more into lust and anger although he is in the darkness he don't know what is right what is wrong but he just know he can spend his time he can spend his energy he can spend his wealth whatever he have on the lust on the anger on the calm your yeah, growth because of growth he may lose a lot of things 
even if we need to remember we may able to remember when we have said something in the anger later we had to pay off huge so in the tamogol so these are the few points basic idea of tamo is the darkness ignorance and he will be having more anger and more lust all the time or maximum time now tamo gun is the highest thing or most of the people fall into this trap even baba ram rai guru har rai sahib ji told him a lot of things but baba ram rai ji did not get it did not follow did not accept his order or suggestions so this is what happens in our life when we are not ready to take any advice from the guru all the guru is telling us teaching us making us understand with the different examples but we are not taking it so this is a tamo then guru sahib teaches us kab ho na samjhe agyan gavara bahar bahar lapteo janja so we don't understand because of ignorance because of tamogun we will keep repeating the same mistake again and again bahar bahar lapteo janja if we think because of anger we lost something once again and again we are repeating we fall into the trap of lust later we regret i shouldn't have done this again we are doing it bahar bahar lapteo janjara again and again we are falling into the trap of tamogun of lust of anger and we are just keep postponing our all good things again and again so what do we need to do here don't repeat mistakes it becomes a habit so what we need to do we need to do we need to postpone our bad things and try to do some good things that is the solution of tamogun in the tamogun we will be having a lot of laziness want to sleep we want to postpone all the good things but we able to manage our energy for anger or lust but that we need to switch and we need to come out of tamogun vilamb paapan nah vilamb tarman guru arjan sahib ji says so how to get rid of tamogun vilamb paapan try to postpone your bad deed and try to do immediately your good deed that is the only way then we can use it for our good tamogun we can use it you we can utilize it for our benefit we can be lazy while doing something bad we can postpone whenever anger is coming so we can utilize tamogun as well for the good that needs some power that needs some dedication so don't repeat mistakes if you need to repeat repeat some good habits repeat your good deeds so that also will become your habits so that we need to understand kabhuna samjha gyan gavara but in the tamogun we don't understand most oftenly but we need to work on it because again and again otherwise we will fall into the trap of tamogun another part is rajogun now this is a different in the tamogun there is a lot of laziness we just want to postpone we don't want to do things postpone as much as we can but in rajogun that person is active we want to do something he don't love just sleeping on the bed all day and night is not so much worried about his lot of rest sleeping mode postponing things no in the rajogun those who have rajogun on the prime they will be very active they want to do something they want to get something rajo means raj 
means power, position, wealth. So in the tamagun, they spend their energy for the anger or for the lust. But here in the rajogun, person spend his energy to earn more wealth, to earn, to get some more power, to go to the next level, get highest position. But this is also an obstacle. If we just look at this point, then it is good. One person is active, waking up, he's doing something, he's working, he's earning. This is good. But why this is obstacle? Obstacle is one, when one person wants to control others as well, he wants to be a king so that everyone must follow his orders. Rajagun, why it's an obstacle? Because in the Rajogun, then selfish desires arises in our mind. We just think about ourselves. That leads to corruption. Corruption means we just take care of ourselves, not our community, not our religion, not our country. We don't worry about anyone else, just about ourselves. In the Rajogun, the one who have on the prime, Rajogun on the prime, he can sell anything. He can sell religion, he can sell family, he can sell country, he can sell anything. As we see in the history as well, Hitler, Stalin, they have Rajogun on the prime. They just wanted more and more power and wealth and everyone. They wanted to control everyone, everywhere, everything. And even in the India, there is the example of Aurangzeb. He wanted more and more kingdom. His father Shah Jahan, he was also a king, but he divided his land we can say, into the four parts, like he made a king to all of, to four of his sons. He gave some land, like you can be king of Bengal, you can be king of Delhi or Punjab. So he divided that part so that all can be king of their areas. But Aurangzeb had some different plans. He killed his father with thirst. He died without water. He was just looking for some water, but Aurangzeb did not give him in the Agra. He killed his father. He killed his three brothers as well. He put his sister in the jail with Shah Zah. He did not let marry his daughter, Zinat, because then he thought, now I'm getting bored. My son-in-law will be young, then he can do the same, whatever I have done with my father. So he was afraid about it. So he did not marry his daughter as well. So one of the cruel king. So there are many more like Stalin or Hitler. So in this Rajogun, like we just want more wealth, more power, more position, doesn't matter whatever we need to do. That is why it becomes an obstacle. Some people want to get more wealth. Doesn't matter. They are ready to rob, ready to kill. They can do anything. For the power, they can kill many people. For the position, they can cheat many. So that is why it becomes a problem. When we are just too much corrupted, if we don't, if or if we are having Rajo on the prime, we, then we will just think about to get more and more. And Guruji explains this thing in this way. Jo kukar harkaya jai. A mad dog is just running everywhere. A dog is mad, it's just running everywhere. Lobi chantana chanai pakh apakh sabkhai. Whatever is he could eat or whatever is not supposed to eat. He'll do everything. 
the same way the one who have this rajogo on prime they can sell anything they can sell everything they can harm anything if it's on very much prime although it is needed on the basic level rajogun that is why these obstacles are also known as an gun not ogun this is also beautiful thing in qurbani these are not completely mentioned as an ogun rajogun tamo gun so it is just like whether we are using it in good way or not or we can say this is a maya three main weapons so maya is able to control us so for the first point they just want us to don't do anything so if you are doing so just be selfish cheat kill do whatever you want to do with others just take care of yourself so once we go through ahead of it, because rajogun can be helpful as well in one way if you are able to earn honest earn an honest living then it is good that is also part of rajogun because we all are working without money we cannot survive this is needed very much needed so banda singh bahadur was also a king maharaja ranjit singh was also a king shri guru gobind singh maharaj he was also a king so there are many kings those who spread some goodness as well satyavadi raja harish chandra is known for his good deeds good work raja janak bhai gurdas ji also mentioned about him so not all wealthiest people or powerful people are corrupt but it is about maturity so whenever we want more power or we fall into this trap as well like controlling everyone being selfish corruption and then it leads to a lot of other bad deeds so rajogun this is how it stops us then we just put our all the energy into these things and we just lose we just forget why we are here then the third part that is most important and it needs more and more we can say concentration more awareness because in these two we may able to recognize ourselves or others satogun needs more awareness more awakeness itli jagna padega now satogun is seva some someone is performing seva in the gurudwara sahib or anywhere in the world doing simran reciting his name giving some donations compassion is there forgiveness is there contentment is there but why this is obstacle there all these are the good things psychology says the moment when we are into the trap of first two guna rajogun aur tamo we are also get like we just want some change in our life bahut maada kaam kar kar ke se thak jane ha so then we think ke do some donations that is why this is also possible like a bigger criminal may be known as an a very great donor when guru nanak sahib ji met with by sajjan so sajjan was the same jisne mandir bhi banaye si masjid bhi banayi hai si he built some mosque and temples in his area but he was a killer as well satogun so people are able to we are ready to perform some seva recite his name waking up in the morning giving our this one giving some donations we are compassionate to help someone 
forgiveness is that all these beautiful things when we are able to perform then we are into the subtle gun now why it is obstacle then this is all these are good things the thing is subtle gun is good actually all guns are good and all are bad as well jo zahar halal hai wahi amrit hai nada the same thing can be poison same thing can be amrit so satogun seva simran all good things are very good to perform but the problem begins when we put i with it i am doing seva i am donating i am very compassionate i'm i'm forgiving other people so when this thing come comes to our mind and our mind plays an important role here guru tek bahadur sahib ji says tirat barat ar daan kar man mein tarah ko maan gumaan is filled with pride i have done something i went to pilgrimages i have done some donations and a lot of early other religious activities then what happens nanak neh phal jaat te jyon kunchar chinan it is just like an elephant takes bath and then rolls into the dust it just put dust on his head so doing all these beautiful things is just like cleansing our body but then not only knowingly more often we just say unknowingly as well you know just one of my friend was sharing uh, just a incidence of yesterday's uh, so he was just mentioning a story and saying like uh, i am very religious person i do a lot of good things all the time i am very religious person you may not able to see it from my face but i am very religious person you don't know so even all the my topic i was just thinking about it satogun so it just realized like this is how we, this satogun works we are doing it something good but we want others to know when may arises we are giving our daswand in the gurudwara but when if granthi singh forgets to mention our name then what happens maybe we are ready to fight why did you mention my name if you say guru ji knows okay it's okay if guru ji knows but what about other sangat member they don't know they must know about it i have donated a lot of things here and you did not mention my name i seen people who start fighting over it so they are doing good but unknowingly or knowingly we don't realize how do we fall into the trap of satog this is very serious actually it is just like if someone is ill we can give him medicine but in satogon is like medicine is also not working so medicine kaliya bhi medicine ne bina reaction kar deta if medicine is also not working for us going against our body reacting our body to so medicine ne bhi reaction karta hun ki kari to so same way satogun is very important very crucial but we need to remember our ego our me and it comes so subtle we don't realize as we say we read we discuss although vahiguru god is everywhere but still god is not at one place although god is everywhere but still there is a place where god doesn't want to be which place is this pavitra vidas ji mentioned जब लग मेरी मेरी करें गुरु अर्जन साहब जी ऑल्सो मैं 
tabular ka je khasar whenever we are saying me me jab hum hote tab tu na hai ab tu hi main na hai pavitra vidas ji jab hum hote tab tu na hai if i am there then you disappears but the same rule doesn't apply on i if ego is there ahankar hai main hai te tu nahi aayega but main is so subtle if tu is there main will come you don't say if tu is there i will not come still it comes whenever we are performing some good things a subtle ego arises and it's just like a drop of a poison still harm a lot so non kinhful jat te jiv kunchar ishnan if we are doing a lot of things so we should not fall into this trap of sato gun and it is very subtle difficult to find even we don't realize while talking this is what happened in guru gobind singh ji's life just reminded me a story guru gobind singh ji had 52 poets bavanja kavi san guru gobind singh ji de darbar de vich so a lot of times like guru gobind singh ji loved poetry a lot that is why we see most of the, even if we read japs are it's not in, not in raag raag de vich nahi hai japs hai aur sawai hai it's into the chand poetry part not into the ragas even in chopai we read kabyo baaj binti chopai kabyo baaj as a poet i'm saying so there was a kavi there was a poet his name was chandan kavi chandan in guru gobind singh ji's time one of his 52 poets so guru sahib ji was interested in more to listen poetry all 52 poets were sitting and guru gobind singh ji said i want to hear something from you write something right now i don't want to give you time start writing now I'm giving you some time 5 minutes 10 minutes after that we we'll listen from you just write something now kavi chandra was one of the best actually all were the best guru nanak uh, like all were in guru gobind uh, was near to guru gobind singh so kavi chandra wrote something and he thought like it is very deep so maybe guru ji will able to understand or other six will able to understand or not so what he did he wrote his poetry on his leg on his thigh not on the paper so he wrote on his thigh so that he won't forget later he can just copy it somewhere else guru gobind singh ji started from kavi chandan he said okay we'll start this poetry session from kavi chandan okay kavi chandan ji tell us what did you write kavi chandan ji said i did not write anything i'm sorry i was just thinking about it what can i write but i did not write anything guru gobind singh ji said okay so i was just in mood to listen poetry if you did not write so i'm i don't want to hear it from anyone so let's stop it here let's go and take bath now kavi chandan realized maybe guru ji is aware about it that is why he saying let's go and take bath because he wrote the poetry on his body then he joined his hand and apologized and said i'm sorry guru ji i wrote something but i did not say guru said why did you do this he said i thought maybe you and other poets may not able to understand my poetry because it's very deep so i'm just mentioning about satogun how does this effect so the one who is taking knowledge who is learning from guru gobind singh ji later he is saying my poetry is so deep you may not able to understand it so i did not say it and another reason it is very deep and i am thinking you may not give me the reward as i should get then guru gobind singh ji called another sikh who used to clean guru sahib ji's horses guru sahib ji said, called him 
His name was Tanna Singh. And Guruji said, Kavi Chandan wrote something and just try to understand what did he say. But that Chan that Tanna Singh, he understood and he replied in the poetry. Then Kavi Chandan realized what I am doing. I am learning everything. I am getting everything from Vaheguru, from Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Uh, what did I say? So this is what happens in our life. When we are able to get something, sometimes even we don't realize how this Satogun subtly works in our life. So sometimes we become egoistic and saying like, I am the one who goes to Gurdwara every day. So Pai Gurdas Ji mentioned something about it. Maya dar dar pat har gurudwara ja. We are going to Gurdwara, we are performing religious activities so that we can get rid of Maya. Taha jo Maya vyapta hai, kaha thehrai hai. If here also I am falling into the trap of Maya, then where can I go? Where will I survive? So, we need to understand, understanding is needed. Tihi guni tripavan vyapya pai gurmukh buj bujai. So firstly, we need to understand these are the three obstacles. These are the three gun. And how do we need to manage? Perform religious activities, but just keep in the mind, it's just grace of Vahikru. We need to work so that I won't arise in this. So Rajgun, Tamgun, Satgun, Kahiye, Ihiteri, Sab Maya. All is Maya. Some are just fall into the trap of Rajogun, some are into the Tamogun, and the one who goes ahead, then we fall into the Satogun. So all is delusion, all is illusion, creation of Maya. So we need to get rid of it, we need to go ahead, and ahead is Chothe Padkao Jonar Chine Tenhi Parampad Paya. So this is a Chotha Pad. This is Parampar. This is the highest situation. When even Raj is there, it doesn't affect. Tam is there, but in one way. Sat is there, but it is helpful. Raj is there. As we see example of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. He is a king. Raj is there. Even if you take examples of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Raj was there. Baba Banda Singh Bahadur, Raj was there. Come over. They were lazy in doing bad deeds. They were not performing any bad deeds. They were not falling into the trap of anger or lust. Then Sato, they were performing religious activities, but without I. Without me. So all these things are there in our life. But firstly we need to understand which gun is on prime mode in our life. Someone may have Rajo, someone may have Tamo, someone may have Satogun. So we need to deal with it accordingly. We need to just remember Rajo, if we are able to get some wealth and everything, just remember it is just grace of God, I need to work and earn an honest living and sharing is important. Tamogun, just remember Vilam, Papan, Neha Vilam, Tamang. This is the solution of Tamogun. Just stop it, just delay it, your bad deeds and perform your good deeds immediately. So Satogun, just be bad. So is there eyes coming that I am performing or we need to manage Grace of Vaheguru, it is with your grace I am able to perform these satokon, all these beautiful, all these good deeds. If we can work accordingly, if we can tackle these three gun, then definitely these gun will become gun, will become pillars which will help us, lead us to Chautha Pad, Chauthe Pad Ko Jo Nar Chinne Tinhi Param Pad. Yeah, he will reach to the final destination where he is happy always. He is in the joy always. He is in the ananda always. So this is possible. So but 
these are the three obstacles that we need to see how we can tackle or what are your ideas what do you think how can we tackle this and how can we make our life more beautiful so now i would like to hear from all of you thank you very much firstly that you all listened bade pyar na tusi sare ne suniya so request you all so don't be shy kindly share your suggestions or if you have any doubt or if one thing is not clear anything is not clear or whatever is coming to your mind or what to you what did you learn today so or what are your take home messages kindly share it with all of us thank you very much once again wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh ji aaj haan ji karta ji you are unmuted wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh master ji ji today's lesson was very interesting uh to understand tamo rajo sato i believe we are born with it how to bring it up into our life or how to make it one value more important all depends on us and ourselves i feel that from the day you are born up to the age of 6 it depends on your parents are bringing from 7 onwards it's your teacher and school your friends what you learn and what you want to who you want to follow <clears throat> from 20 onwards is your working life your new friends situations opportunities will influence your moral and values and when you have a family then it is a different set of morals and values because when you are a, when you have a family then you want to uh, have materialistic gains and all that but how do we gain how do we reach our goals all depends on us while chasing our dreams who did we push who did we step on who did we speak to rashly and to anyone who stood in our way who did we push away who did we you know throw the person down so that we can stand up so all that i think are mistakes we make in life every one of us make even i have done that sometimes you just want to achieve something and you try to push somebody else away so but to understand that we have done it understand our mistakes and not repeat them and to walk in the right path is what will save us i think and as for the more okay evil deeds rajo is to gain materialistic wealth but sometimes to unethical means sato i feel is to do good without any expectation any any expectations so at the end of the day sometimes the situation or at the spur of the moment you just do something wrong because you want your desire is there you really want the thing and you do it through wrong ways and finally i think it is to understand to realize to accept that we have done our mistakes and this understanding realization and act acceptance will help us to change our way of life and to walk on the path of guru ji thank you very much master ji thank you very much kardar ji for mentioning and elaborating more about this lecture and definitely you just uh, shared your views so thank you very much for your contribution kardar kaur ji really appreciate it. thank you master ji thank you thank you hanji kuldeep ji you are also unmuted would you like to share something ji हाँ जी वाहू जी का खालसा वाहू जी की फतेह आई डिट माई से मन बचपन का एक फ्रेज याद आया समथिंग वेन यू आर रीडिंग बुक्स वेन यू आर वेरी यंग 
इस माया के तीन नाम परसु परसा परसरा you know that came to my mind but at that time i could not understand what it was all about you know does this also refer to this uh, rajo tamo sato gona kind of thing who was parsu who is parsa and who is parsram so thank you very much actually this is uh, related to when you earn wealth or position in the society like firstly they will say just parsu na If you are like some more capable, so the position, so the body, you give me all, na same person, the so then parsa, so the respect, what will be? Jo one, that person, so the more body level, so how many people can be parsa Ram Ji? Ne parsa Ram. So that person, parsu, can be called as that. No, no parsu, they be called as parsa Ram Ji. Depends on your position. So it is actually basically related to Maya is Maya, passive value Maya. Hmm. Like how people. Like, so that people. was just purely. Purely the wealth part of Maya, yes. Parsu, Parsa, Parsram. Okay, yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ji. Thank you very much for asking and sharing this line, Ji. Thank you, Gudeep Ji. And something else, would you like to add, Ji? Ah, uh, yes. In Bani, we come across this very, very often. Rajo, Tamo, Sato. Is there a a background to it, a Brahmin background to it as well? You know, is there any historical uh, aspect of this Rajo Tamo Sato Gona? Yes, in the Brahmani or Brahman also we can say because uh, this has mentioned a lot in Bhagavad Gita as well, like chapter two, chapter thirty, and chapter forty fifth. So, like mm. some of times, like it has mentioned in when Shri Krishna Ji was uh, teaching to. Arjun, so he also mentioned that ten guna to tenu bar ana payega. So it has mentioned in Bhagavad Gita as well, multiple times. Yeah, because we borrow a lot, a lot of uh, these kind of stories from uh, Hinduism, and expand on it, and apply to us ourselves in the positive and uh, in the correct way. So yes, it's all very interesting how all these things come about. and uh, i think it is uh, well we need all these things hai na rajo tamo vi chahida hai thode de you know aram bhi zaroori hai chahiye hai ki hai thode de aalsi bhi chahiye hai thode de back sit back and think and relax oh bhi chahida hai ga hai de rajo gun bhi chahida hai ga hai Good. You know, we need a bit of uh, ability. We must be recognized for our deeds. We want to have a bit of money for our comfort. We have to strive for all these things. And then similarly, फिर मानुष पाव ना उठती है, you know, सेवा करिए, वही गुण याद करिए, थोड़ा थैंक यू कहिए, थोड़ा डोनेशन दे दिए. So all these things actually are part and parcel of our life. but if it's taken to an extreme then it becomes bad yes so it's a reminder to us that everything has to be done within limits you know at the same time if you have don't have to be so greedy don't have to go on and on being hungry you know thoda raj bhi jaiye te haan ji te je de khawa bhi karna hai ga seva karni donation karni ये सारा कुछ पहले करके तो फिर दिखावा करना है गा, फिर रेकग्निशन मंगते है सो दैट एक्सट्रीम इज आल्सो रॉन्ग एंड बैड सो इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ डिग्री है ना फिर एक गुण चाहिए भी है गे ने, पर इस गुण सम इनसाइट वी शुड ओवरकम द नेगेटिव एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ दिस इश्यूज सो इट्स हाउ टू स्ट्राइक अ बैलेंस I think that's what I would uh, take my message away today from this. Let's strike a bad balance, have an awareness, have an awakening, have an insight, and the uh, Gurbani is helping to give us this insight. You know, a realization for ourselves. So, yes, I think day by day we are learning a little bit and hopefully correcting ourselves as well. So that's my take for today. Why good ji ka khalsa? Why good ji? Why good ji ke baat karne chahiye. Thank you very much for sharing your takeaways. Bilkul cheezan sariyan zaruri hain. 
ਬਸ ਇੱਕ ਅਕਤ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਹੱਦ ਸੋਣਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਉਹ ਜੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੀ ਸੋਵਾਂਗੇ ਕੰਮ ਮਾੜਾ ਹੈ ਹਨਾ ਕੰਮ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤੋਂ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੀ ਮਾੜੀ ਹੈ ਪਾਣੀ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਪੀਵਾਂਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਨੁਕਸਾਨ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਖਾਣਾ ਵੀ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਖਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਨੁਕਸਾਨ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਇਜ਼ ਬੁਰਾ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਨੀਡਡ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਸ਼ੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਪਾਜੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅਨਮਿਊਟਡ ਸੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਆਮ ਆਈ wanted to just thank all of you for a beautiful sharing uh, you and the two ladies who just spoke before you uh, and after you and before me were beautifully mentioning i think the need for balance uh, so menu jo samajh aaya it's not just about um, making sure that we have these three things but also aspire to go to level 4 uh, but uh, i was wondering how can we reach level 4 they i think the gurbani shabad that says gur kirpate se jan jage jina har man vasya bole amrit bani that those people people who get the help from our guruji to get awakened from these three states because they guni sansar from sutta sitya rain vihani di gall hai na so menu itho eh samajh no aaya are there practical steps that i can put into my today's life uh, because rajogun makes me have lot of passion lots of energy lots of action now how can i use this to stay focused in life to stay motivated even if i'm going to start a big business maybe i need to break it down into achievable goals and then the bigger goals into small the steps stay organized take a risk if i have to take action now be motivated and take progress of all my you know the adjustments that i need to do and most importantly celebrate my success so this may be the positive usage which i was thinking about how can i use rajo in my life so i need to remind myself that i need to be focused motivated i need to break my goals into achievable tasks and i need to set maybe deadlines and i will not be afraid of taking risks and have a plan and more importantly i will stay organized and always take action to reach success because this is rajogun's passion the energy and the action that i can use that was my first takeaway uh, from your lecture now when you talk about tamogun you said palji is lazy he has inertia he wants to sleep uh, we also have a lot of fear i think fear is also another part of tamogun and maybe what we need to do is to break out of what we call our comfort zone every management guru is talking about break out of your comfort zone for example i was afraid to unmute myself and speak today but i think if i take a chance and break out of this fear chances are i'll feel uncomfortable at the start but the moment i identify my fear i succeed in identifying it then i focus on the positive that most to most only 16 people will laugh at me today even if i said something wrong uh, then slowly but surely taking small steps gradually building up my confidence one day this practice can get me to the highest bases and i can reach out for help if i ever need if i can't do it myself so maybe this is where uh, the second gun can be used to get out of our comfort zone by creating some goals visualizing my success that at the end of this 5 minutes that i share anything with you all of you are going to clap and you're going to stand up and cheers for me cheer for me so my fear will be gone and if i take action every day i celebrate my success and most importantly even if i fail i take time to reflect and say where did i speak wrong today that they all said boo lousy palji but next time maybe i can achieve greater success so for me i think taking risks can come coming out of comfort zone is step number 2 the last the third one the satogun i know you talked about having a lot of knowledge power uh, doing good for mankind doing seva and all that but i think to make sure the ego doesn't take control is to also be mindful that jab hum hote tab tu nahi ab tu hi main nahi maybe that's where meditation mindful practices our thoughts our feelings of ego should be kept in control then we can read a lot of books we can read a lot of shabads we can do gratitude practice every day and say wah guru tera sab sadka it wasn't i who did it um, i forgot that shabad by pagaji who says maine kuch kita jo bhi hoya rab tusi kita tusi baad mein shabad yaad kara dena but there is a shabad right i can't remember that shabad now but it says if i start taking that actions and if i do something good let me say thank you god you made it happen it wasn't me it was all you and then as we go along this then i think what will happen one day we will reach 
stage number four, having released all those fears, coming out of our comfort zone, becoming mindful, becoming focused, becoming grateful, and then we embrace the moment and we succeed and we celebrate those successes. And in the Chothe Pad, I think that is where we need to learn to be because Gurbani says, Kar Kirpa, Jis Apne Naam Lai, Nanak Chothe Pad, Mein So Jan Gat Pai. Sukhmani Sab says maybe it is only when we connect ourselves to the Nama, then we will become superior human beings, have better stamina, have better power to control, not the world controlling, not the guns controlling us, but we control all these gunas. So maybe for that, we need to learn to be devoted to Vaigriji's Naam, Amrit Vela, receive his divine grace and remember all the time that I can't do anything. Whatever happens, it happens through the will and the power of God, Vaigriji. And as we learn to go down this path, then Chothe Pad is going to make sure that Gur Kirpa they say Jan Jage, Jina Harman Vasya, Bole Amrit Bani, then we will sing the praises of the Lord and we will not be like the rest. Tehi Guni Sansar from Sutta, Sutia Ren Vihani. Otherwise, our life is also going to pass away, slipping away in the three Gunas. Maybe we need to pray, Gur Kirpa. Please bless us, Vaigriji. Thank you once again for your opportunity to share Pul Chukdi Mafi. Vaigriji Ka Khalsa, Vaigriji Ki Fateh. Thank you very much, Pahalji, for contributing in today's talk. It's very helpful for all of us. So we will not laugh actually. We will be thankful to you. And as you mentioned, you. as you were saying, Jo kish kiya, so har kiya, har ki vade aai. Guru Ramdas sab jide shabad hai ji. So jo kish kita sab harri ne kita, sab paramatma ne kita hai ji. So thank you very much for your contribution, Paaj. Thank you, Ji. Thank you, Ji. And any other Sangat member who wants to say something? Okay, request you all. Kindly unmute yourself. So let's say good pate together, Jim. So once again, just before that, Paisab, just before that, one second, I just remembered. Na ham kia na karenge na kach kare sarir. Odi duji pangti mein pul gaya kabir kabir something like that. If you remember. Yes, the joke is kya sahar ke aap payo kabir kabir. Haan ji payo kabir kabir. Thank you, sir ji. Thank you. Sorry, I interrupted. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much once again. Aao je pa saare sanjh roop che pate di sanjh paiye ji. Saare apne apne unmute kar lo ji. Saare anda ek pari fir to tan baad. Vahe Guru Ji ka khalsa. Vahe Guru Ji ka khalsa. Vahe Guru Ji ka khalsa. Thank you, Master Ji. Thank you, Master Ji. Thank you, Ji.